Hey guys, Reckless Gamer here, and welcome to well, welcome back to Paper Mario on the Thousand Year Door. Um, this one's gonna be a short one. Right there, I just got a star piece. But um, yeah, this one's only gonna be like uh about like nine minutes, I believe. Uh, I'm pretty tired. It's like twelve oh one in the morning right now as I'm recording this. But anyway, last episode we found this entrance to the Robo's hideout, and right now we're talking to um Ishmael, the boss of the robots. So, yep. Um, uh, basically what he says is, uh, you know, he complains about how Don Pianta, uh, you know, is like the superior gang uh, out of the two. And uh, he says that if he's gonna, what's it called, if he's gonna give us um, the location on how to find him, that um, that we need to pay a fee. And uh, I just wanted to find out what he'll say if I say no to paying his fee real quick. So, yeah, he just, yeah, he didn't say anything important. Um, I believe he says, uh, Yeah, he says 64 coins, but then, like, when you say yes, you'll pay. Oh, I think... Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so basically, here's the steps to... What's it called? Finding him. There's a parlor in the, um, the west side. And, uh, basically what you have to do is once you go into that, like, uh, the shop, you have to buy a dried shroom and a dizzy dial in that order. And then the shopkeeper will ask you what your favorite color, and you have to answer yellow. And uh, then she will open up the secret entrance to Don Pianta's hideout. So yeah. So now that we know where Don Pianta is, we're going to go head over there. Uh, this is Gus's brother. Oh, I actually forgot to um, show it off last episode. But um... When you defeat Gus, he's all like, Man, all you video, like, you video game heroes, you guys stink, you know? Like, just because you guys are, like, the hero of the game, like, you know, you guys are, like, woohoo, the best of everything, you know, I guess? He says something like that. He complains about video game heroes, and that's why in the description, I don't know if you guys noticed, I, um, put that we beat up a guy just doing his job. Because he's, I think he says something about just doing his job as well. But, uh, yeah, so now we're just heading over back to the west side. Hmm, I was just watching the footage right now. And I was just wondering, like, why is the, uh, why is the, the shopkeeper guy who gave, who, like, alert, noticed, like, ugh, I can't talk. And it's because I'm recording. Every time I'm recording, I cannot talk for anything. But, um, I was just wondering, like, why that shop, one of the shopkeepers was still out there. Let me turn this down. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Hopefully not. But, um, now she's asking us what our favorite color is, and now we answer yellow. And then she tries to trick you. You have to answer that. Yellow. So, uh, like I said before, this one's actually a really short episode. And, uh, it's because this was just, um... This was what was left over from all the footage of these past two parts that we... From part 21 and 22. This is, like, the little leftover little chunk of it. So, yeah. Uh, and we're not really even... The only thing we get accomplished is finding Don Pianta. And, uh... They have some pretty funny dialogue. But, uh... You know, like I said, it's like... 12 or 5 in the morning and I'm pretty tired. So I'm most likely not going to be reading this. So, to sum it up, basically, you know, this is Don Pianta. And, uh, those are his two bodyguards. I don't think they're ever... Named. But as you can see, we're asking him for... For, um, the, 
the tickets to Glitzville, and he says, "You have some nerve asking me." I'm Don Peon. I make um, crying babies weep or something. I don't know. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, you know, obviously they're just like, you know, what the heck? You know, like, why should we give you this? You know? And then he's like, this kid's got gumptions. You know? He has the balls to come and talk to me. So uh. Anyway, right here we explain to him that we're trying to save Princess Peach. And I believe... Yeah, so we're just right here just explaining that. Ain't those things not legend about the treasure? Vinny, you said... Oh, Vinny. So that guy's... The one on the left is Vinny. And I wonder what the guy on the right's name is. Anyway, Don Pianta gets frustrated here because everybody's arguing about whether the crystal star is and the treasure is real or not. And uh, he decides that if we, um, you know, if we do something for him, then he could get us the blimp tickets. And basically, what his, uh, the favor we have to do for him is that, uh, his daughter, uh, Francesca, I believe her name is. She hooked up with one of um one of the gang members named Frankie. And uh Frankie like uh the father of Don Pianta he favored him and uh you know he figured out that Francesca hooked up with Frankie. So now he's just like, Yo yo, I ain't having that. Find these two people and bring them back to me. So that's what, exactly what we're gonna do in the next part. So basically now there's just like the rest of all this dialogue that I'm not even reading. Because I already explained what's happening. So I guess I'll talk about something else. I uh, actually might make another video right now after I finish recording this since it's so short. But uh, it's going to be a little different than my normal videos. You know, I'm thinking of doing a sort of discussion type thing just with myself because I have nobody really to discuss with. So I'm just going to you know, do a discussion, it's more of like a podcast, which is where you just talk and listen, but you know, of course, since this is a YouTube video, um, you know, there'll be images up on screen and everything, so yeah, well, he showed us how Frankie and Francesca look, and I know exactly where they are, but we'll just have to find out find that out on the next episode, I mean. Sorry. Um. So yeah, right here I just go ahead and go save up. That's all I do. And we're coming up to the end of this one, guys. Sorry it was so short, but you know, like, this was just the last little chunk, so there wasn't really anything I could have done about it anyway. But, um. Yeah. Um, probably expect the next one, because I gotta record the footage, um, you know, I gotta record the next hour of footage and chop it up and everything, so expect that coming pretty soon, but, um, yeah, like I said, I'll see you guys next time.